When visitors come to Denali, they, they may see a few things we do in terms of our sustainable practices. Um, besides the fact that we use buses to access the park for visitors, we have road restrictions on private vehicles. And so it means that instead of a lot of private vehicles on the park road, uh, we're able to provide a more wilderness feel and protect wildlife viewing opportunities by getting 40 or more people on a bus instead of perhaps 10 to 20 or more vehicles for each bus. So there again, we're getting some efficiency out of the fuel because we're getting perhaps 400 miles per passenger per gallon instead of a family vehicle that may only get 30, 45 miles per gallon. The Park Service has been, has been directed through executive orders as well as NPS directives about how to manage their fleet and also how to, uh, how to operate sustainably. The focus pieces that we're, that we're aiming at here through the, through the directives and policies are about reducing the miles driven and uh, also reducing the gallons consumed for petroleum. We're also operating three 100% electric vehicles. These are the smaller neighborhood electric vehicles. And we were fortunate enough to uh, have been given a grant. And so we'll be seeing one full-size electric vehicle and a charging station brought here next year. Some of the stuff we're doing for energy efficiency uh, here in the park is we installed some grid-tied photovoltaic systems, as they're properly called. Uh, we have six systems now that, uh, that total up to about 32 kilowatts of uh, solar panels. And some of the other stuff we look at is for energy efficiency. We've been converting a lot of lights out to LED lights, and that helps reduce our lighting costs by about 50% each time I get a fixture. With the recycling center, we have reduced trash to the landfill, and we've expanded the recycling program to accept plastic year-round. Also started taking glass year-round, which we didn't take at all before. And employees that live and work here, they are charged with bringing the recycling materials in and sorting them themselves. Aside from setting an example for local people and businesses to uh, recycle stuff, it's just good to keep it out of the landfill. Many of the sustainable practices we do are also trying to uh, uh, support Denali and the life and resources at Denali even beyond park boundaries as we have kind of planetary impacts and we hope people will recognize that even when they're back home they can do things that support Denali and other national parks and hopefully they make that connection. There's so much we can do without the funding with just all the little things people do every day.